Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras has scored a victory. Parliament voted to back his controversial plan for a third bailout. He's proposing spending cuts and tax increases to secure a three-year financial support program with some debt relief. It is our national duty to keep our people alive, for them to continue fighting for their right with pride and to continue fighting with stubbornness for progress and prosperity. The reforms are actually harsher than the creditors demanded, rejected uh, the demands, I should say, that were rejected by voters just a few days ago. Cyprus addressed Parliament in the middle of their all-night debate. He said the cutbacks weren't the problem, it was that ultimatum, and that the no vote in the recent referendum gives Greece a better negotiating position. That remains to be seen. Eurozone partners will consider the plan this weekend. Jack Barton has a preview from Brussels. Greece's proposals for a third rescue package in return for tougher austerity has been well received by European leaders. The Greeks have just shown their determination to remain in the Eurozone since the program they are presenting is serious and credible. Athens' plan contains former red lines for the government, including pension reforms and tax hikes that were rejected at a referendum. Some European officials wondered why the proposal could not have been submitted months ago when Greece's economy was much stronger. I believe that if this offer had been put on the table earlier, then very likely the Greek people would have avoided a lot of suffering. While Spain, France and Italy welcomed the proposals, Greece's biggest creditor, Germany, warned there is little room for maneuver. It wouldn't be enough if the proposals were the ones from the end of June just presented in new packaging. We need comprehensive reforms because it is not about extending an existing program for some months, but a program over three years. If Eurozone finance ministers approve Greece's plan on Saturday, it will go to a full EU leaders' summit the following day, which is being billed after so many supposed last-chance meetings as the true final deadline for a deal to be reached. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.